The Art Gallery of Southwestern Manitoba has demonstrated its resilience to the pandemic challenges of the past year while boldly moving forward with its exhibition program, inventive exhibitions in the community gallery, and a wonderful variety of engagement activities. Such vitality is a strong testament to the high-performing staff, the skillful guidance of the Board of Directors, an enthusiastic membership, and thousands of visitors who have rediscovered their passion for the arts and culture. Of the 142 artists who exhibited in the 2021-2022 season, an overwhelming 96.5% of them are Manitoba-based, 82% of artists who received exhibition fees are from Manitoba, 36.5% are Indigenous, and 73% are from equity-deserving groups. Nothing Smells in Absolute Zero by senior Brandon artist Chris Reed in spring of 2021 was a critical achievement as this nationally renowned artist created new installations addressing the profound impact of homelessness in our community. The exhibition was accompanied by our new curator, Lucy Letterhandler's first publication. Over the summer, we hosted internationally recognized photographer and filmmaker Shelley Nero's exhibition, A Good Long Look. The exhibition tracks Nero's focused gaze as she reconstructs lost or misremembered histories of her Mohawk ancestry. In addition, we hosted an outdoor screening of films at Brandon University, sharing the artist's rich film work with our community. In the fall of 2021, HESM partnered with Arts Accessibility Network Manitoba for an exhibition, Cryptic which emerged as an outcome of a media arts residency sponsored by the Video Pool Media Arts Centre. It explored rigorous artistic research undertaken by four artists, Susan Aiden Abbott, Yvette Sanarini, Susan Lambert, and Andrea von Wickert, as they questioned their relationships with technology, both in general and personally, in terms of their artistic practices and their lived experiences as persons with disabilities. The 17th Annual Members Exhibition is always an opportunity for the AGSM members community to share their recent work with the world. It's a celebration of the diverse dynamic artistic output of the Westman region with over 85 works of art from 39 artists, most of whom are local to the AGSM. Winter of 2022, we featured Opimaha by Kwakutl artist Marianne Barkhouse of Minden, Ontario, an exhibition consisting of tapestry, sculpture, print, and installation, which tells the story of Wanuskewin, a heritage park in Saskatoon that hosts some of the oldest human artifacts on the continent. Touching on themes of restoration, resilience, reconciliation, and integrity in both the physical and spiritual sense of human and non-human life, the exhibition is deeply inspired by issues surrounding empire and survival. Barkhouse creates installations that call for a consideration of the self as a response to history and the environment. Community gallery exhibitions featured citizens at their most expressive through the I Heart Brandon exhibition, which called on citizens young and old to consider what makes Brandon a special place in an original artwork. One of the youngest winners told us, my inspiration was from walking my dog on Henbury Hill. I like the view of the buildings with the sky, river, and grass. I decided to bring in diversity because all my friends are different and we are accepting of each other. Lasting, an exhibition of thesis work by BFA graduates Melanie Barnett 
Blair Treneman, Eleni Kilbride, Linda Tame of the Ishkabatans Wasaga Inabateg Department of Visual Art, Brandon University, built their exhibitions during the collective trauma of the pandemic year. Well-known Brandon resident Dermot or Derry Dector presented Lost and Otherwise Found. Dector spent the last five years in close mentorship with master painter and Brandonite Jan Bronkowitz developing a unique style and technique. His lunch hour tours became a popular activity during the exhibition span. A highlight of our community gallery program last year, Before I Go to Bed, a project by Dr. Alicia Farrell of Brandon University, featured work by youth from the Westman region who were urged to take a look at the climate crisis head on by professional artist-led workshops. This meaningful exchange resulted in a creative explosion of works in the exhibition. They were encouraged to explore themes of anthropocentrism, eco-justice, stewardship of the earth, and the disproportionate impacts of climate change on youth and how they foster a deep connection to the natural world. Our online participation continues to expand because of the strength of our digital initiatives. By bringing local contemporary arts to rural communities in Manitoba and across Canada through increased digital programming such as Outreach to Connected North via social media platforms of YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. We have improved documentation and communications via digital media thereby helping to facilitate conversations about the status of digital arts and literacy in the area and providing more visibility to emerging artists through our digital channels. The AGSM created an appreciation campaign called Make Yourself Part of the Picture with the intent of reminding the Westman community that they are an important part of the AGSM family. The campaign goal increased membership by 40%. The AGSM offers more than 275 workshops, adult and children's classes, school tours, workshops, as well as artist talks and discursive programming through the year. The AGSM's ongoing fiscal stability is rooted in annual operating support from the generosity of grants from the Canada Council for the Arts, Manitoba Arts Council, Heritage Canada's Youth Employment Program, as well as municipal and federal support. Special project support from the Brandon Neighborhood Renewal Corporation, Community Futures, as well as one-time funding for pandemic recovery allowed for service continuity and stability. AGSM memberships, gift shop sales, facility rentals alongside corporate and individual donations continue to improve. The year ahead will certainly be marked by new milestones of art appreciation and engagement at the AGSM as our community of supporters and visitors to this institution continue to flourish.